when it comes to feeding dog owners want the very best for their pup so they go out and buy the best kibble they can find and some dogs seem to really like it but there is a new growing trend that's challenging dry dog food it's called the raw dog food diet and its supporters say it could be better for these little guys raw food to a lot of people sounds like a crazy concept but Mm -hmm. It's 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 basically fresh food versus extremely processed food. Anthony Santilli is a raw and pet food certified business founder. He owns Fangs and Fur, a fully raw pet food store. He tells us the point of a raw diet is to target what a dog would eat in the wild. There's so many benefits. You're feeding a, a species appropriate diet, you know. So, of course, your your pets are are thriving off of it. The dog's energy is much more sustained. Um, which is makes complete sense because we're talking about a, a diet that's a, that's based on protein and fat and not carbohydrates. The raw diet consists of animal muscles, organs, fat, and sometimes low glycemic produce. Santilli says high carb kibble, on the other hand, could be bad for a dog's digestive system. Feeding a high carbohydrate diet, we know that cancer feeds on sugars. We know that carbs convert to sugar in the body. Um, it's an extremely inflammatory diet. Few vets have jumped on the raw diet wagon, though. Many vets say feeding raw can be risky. They generally support kibble, which, like all commercial pet food, is FDA approved. And vets say it's nutritionally balanced. Most vets, that is. Karen Becker is a holistic veterinarian who supports the raw diet. Animals need unadulterated, fresh, whole foods that are moisture dense. Animals don't need grains, fillers, artificial preservatives, colors, additives, chemicals, byproducts, or processed foods. Whether you decide to feed your four-legged friend kibble or raw dog food, make sure that all the products you use are FDA approved.